sometimes being a good wingman can get a little hairy. Members of the Force Development Division of the Air Force Civil Engineer Center got together recently to demonstrate the wingman concept in a big way. They all got their heads shaved in support of a fellow airman. We've got a, uh, a co-worker and uh, she's going through chemo, lost her hair. So a couple of the guys got together with me yesterday. We talked about uh, going down to the barber shop, taking it all off, and it's in support of her. And take it all off is exactly what they did. It didn't take much convincing. Some of the guys were almost already there. <laughs> some, some, of them, some of them had quite a bit of hair, and, uh, and they were all on board. The group works very closely on a daily basis, and the trip to the base barber shop just shows how tight the bonds of airmen can become. We're such a small family here in COF that it's just, um, it's really important to show Dan that we support her, and it all came on so fast that I can only imagine what she's going through, and, and it's hard for us too to watch it, so it's just really important to show us that we're sure that we support her. Master Sergeant Minnie Weathers was surprised when Chief Shattuck approached her with the idea, and she was moved by the show of solidarity from her co-workers. He just asked me if it was okay if um, they did this to uh, you know, help support me and, and be an air, uh, wingman to me, and I, I said, yeah. It's, it's pretty amazing. I, I'm, yeah, I'm all, I don't know what to say. It's, it's, it's cool. Everyone left with a lot less hair, but with their egos still intact. I'll still be the pretty one. The smiles of support were nearly as bright as the glare from all those bald heads.